Hey, Dr. Mikhail of Mara Genomics, making back-to-back -back videos that were selected by the audience. So thank you to everyone who voted in our participating poll to select the content for this video. This was the second most selected topic, which where we will discuss how cannabinoids might be protecting you from SARS-CoV-2 infection. So there was uh, not that long ago, there's an interesting paper that came out which discussed the possibility that cannabinoids could be binding to SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. And what these authors did is they took the spike protein and they attached it to tiny magnetic beads, micro beads, and uh, then they use that construct to expose to hemp extract. So they wash the hemp extracts with all of its chemicals and basically then applied a, a strong magnet which pulled those microbeads with the spike protein attached to it with anything that might have attached to the spike protein and everything else ended up in the garbage. And then they use very powerful technology called mass spectrometry. We're not gonna get into this to basically define what these compounds were. And they found a, a slurry of different cannabinoids that could be interacting with the spike protein. But the three top candidates that were binding the most were CBDA, CBGA, and THCA-A. All right, so there's your cannabinoids of uh, greatest potential in terms of inhibition of uh, spike protein. So clearly they were able to demonstrate that they bind the spike protein directly then they also did computational modeling where they took the spike protein three-dimensional structure which we have available we have thousands of these have been solved where we know the position of every single atom of the spike protein in space in three-dimensional space and you can map how different drugs or chemicals might be fitting into the three-dimensional structure of the spike protein that's how pharmaceutical companies uh, look for novel candidates of drugs. They, this is very powerful technology. Yes, modeling can be sometimes problematic, but this type of modeling by now uh, has a high level of accurate accuracy. So that's what they did. And they were able to show that these three compounds were able to bind uh, right next to receptor binding domain on the edge of receptor binding domain. And they could actually interact partially with the receptor binding domain. And one of them was available for binding elsewhere so it was able to bind in two different possible locations so that's interesting and then they next what they did is they actually tested inhibition of virus of uh, virus being able to infect cells and they were able to show that these cbda and cbga were able to successfully stop inhibition of both the alpha strain and the beta strain so alpha those are the strains that uh, were problematic a year ago alpha came from uk beta came from south africa unfortunately they didn't test any more recent strains so we don't know how good these uh, compounds might uh, might be against any more relevant variants but uh, the problem is that they they these compounds did not have very high affinity for spike proteins so uh, nevertheless high enough that these authors thought perhaps they might have clinical relevance now one of the references they provided actually did study use of these compounds therapeutically in patients so there this particular study looked at c cbda i believe and thc thca-a and they were able to show that in those patients the blood level of these compounds was a thousand times lower than the concentration required to inhibit those cells by these same compounds. Nevertheless, they think that could be therapeutically uh, uh, possible. So, well, we, I guess time will, will tell, but it's the very last sentence of the paper that I found most interesting, in fact, because they were claiming that with the heavy use of cannabinoids in a population, they might be driving immune escape against such, such compounds, which is really interesting statement. Uh, so they're saying that cannabinoids uh, use might be driving resistance uh, of uh, virus variants against them, but in combination with the vaccines together, perhaps as a dual combo with the use of both cannabinoids and vaccination, that perhaps might limit the possibility of the virus to be able to, to resist 
to, de to be able to resist this type of protection so uh, against infection very very interesting stipulation and speculation so this is the video we wanted to sh to share with you uh, i also wanted to let you know that we have a covid 19 q a number five coming up these are super fun the last one was great we had audience from all over the world which is basically we we collect top 10 questions we answer those questions and then it's open mic for everyone for either comments or questions without we try to answer to the best of our ability and and the last one was great because we had a huge audience participation a lot of scientific literature presented to us from the audience and those are regular people which is great so if you're interested check it out the first 10 people who will subscribe to our newsletter will send you free tickets the link to the subscription is in the description below and uh, don't worry, we have plenty of tickets for those who can get the free ticket. Check it out. If you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a question, share the video. That's a big one. That's how we grow and that's how we can continue creating this great type of content for you. And uh, we are looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye for now, everyone. Hey everyone, just a quick addition to let you know that we have another survey going on where you, the audience, get to select the content of future video. We are reading so much scientific literature, it's impossible to be able to create videos on everything that we read. So we want you to help us decide as to what you want to see in future. So the link to the survey is in the description below. Check it out and tell us what you want to see. We're looking forward to it. Bye everyone.